if you hate how some guys can just talk to women and it's just as if they are just naturally confident that they always seem to just waltz over to ladies and initiate a conversation and that leaves you feeling a little bit deflated because you probably think, how do they have this confidence? Why are they not getting anxious? They're not getting nervous. And you're probably feeling like, well, I don't have much to offer to the table if I can't quite approach a lady. Now, this video is going to help you turn your life around so that you can stop getting nervous around girls. And naturally, let's talk about it. You are going to feel a little bit awkward when you practice the things in today's video. But really, you have to understand the main statement is you have to fake it until you make it. You are not going to watch this video, then miraculously wake up tomorrow morning feeling very confident. So instead, what you need to do is challenge yourself. You are still going to feel nervous and not feel confident, but then the more you go over and talk to women and approach them, you feel less nervous, more confident, and the brain will reprogram itself into making you believe that you are confident. Stay tuned. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. You have to stop overthinking because as soon as you feel that you are in a position that you can go and talk to a girl, that is the prime time when festering thoughts will start to ruminate. You are going to start thinking about what you need to say. You might have a flashback to the last time you were rejected from someone. And then as soon as that happens, you lose your train of thought and you are no longer in the present because you're worrying about the future. And you might be panicking because you don't want to mess it up. You want to talk to her and have a successful date. But what you're doing is removing yourself from the present moment and you are allowing yourself to get nervous, completely disconnecting yourself from the actual relationship. So in the mind of a confident person, he is able to think, wow, there's a really hot girl over there. I'm going to approach and talk to her and then see how it goes. So in these situations, you need to understand that you are still going to feel nervous, but you have to approach anyway. And as soon as you begin that conversation, then things are going to get a lot easier. So remember, you have to fake it until you make it, because if you can just get through approaching her, you're going to start feeling more comfortable. And then when you get chatting, you feel even more comfortable and you have a chance of having a successful date. And as soon as you make that first point of contact, I promise you, it gets easier. Stop letting a girl's looks completely overpower you. I get it. You see a really attractive girl and your tongue feels tied and you think, wow, she is super model gorgeous. And then you start thinking, hang on a second. She's way too good looking for me. I can't go over and approach her. And this is where you have to understand how the male brain and the female brain are very different. Yes, you guys are attractive to very attractive looking girls, but predominantly, ladies don't think that way. Now, I'm sure you've seen people with a really hot looking girlfriend and an average Joe looking guy, and you're wondering, how did that even happen? And that's because women don't place that much importance on how a guy looks. So use this power and think about how you can make her feel emotionally secure in a relationship, because that is where you're going to bag yourself the girlfriend. Can you show her that you can deliver her what she needs in a relationship? And if you can, she's going to be attracted. Something that you do have to understand is that she gets nervous too. She also feels shy and this is something that lots of guys actually completely forget. They just presume that women are these amazingly confident creatures. Yes, some are, but some women are very insecure, specifically about how they look. Now understand that us ladies, we are bombarded with commercials about how to look beautiful. We are told that blondes have more fun. It's more socially acceptable now to go and get cosmetic surgery we are always being told that we need to look good and then we have an identity of what looks good and if we don't look that way it's easy for us to go and change it. Sometimes women feel like if they don't look good enough for a guy that the guy does not want to come over and talk therefore she's never going to act like she's interested. So you need to remember this and when you talk to a lady you make her feel good you make her have those emotional feelings where she's like wow this guy's awesome therefore she doesn't feel insecure about the way she looks and this is how you get a girlfriend. And another thing to mention is that women feel that they are damaged goods as soon as they get a little bit older and they start getting some wrinkles and gray hairs because society tells them that we have to cover this up. We have to do something different so that we always have this amazing youth perception. We are always being judged about how we look. So remember that. Believe this or not, a woman is turned on with you just being you. Despite all of the bro codes you've read online and the stuff you've seen in movies, 
Women do not care about the car that you drive. Yes, it's a good talking point and it's probably going to turn her head. However, if you are not able to offer her emotional stability and everything else with a relationship to make her feel secure, then she doesn't really care what car you drive after that first initial bit of communication. Women find it more attractive when they are able to see a guy just confidently be himself. Ask any girl that is in a relationship and they will tell you that they love just watching their man do their thing, do a hobby, play games, whatever it is, because we find it so heartwarming when you guys get lost in the things that you enjoy. So when you go over and talk to a girl, talk about the things that makes you you. It could be as geeky as your Pokemon card collection from the 90s or that you have a bonsai tree collection. You can also talk about the things that you like to do at work. You are basically saying, hey, this is me. These are my quirks. These are the really cool things that I like to do. And it actually makes you a lot more attractive because it shows her that you are able to just be yourself. You can relax in front of her and say, look, I've got a really quirky hobby. This is what it is. So remember, girls love confident guys. And if you can proudly say, I collect stamps, she's going to find this hot. Start qualifying the girls that you talk to. I never realized how many times guys are oblivious to this until I started hanging out with more guy friends. A guy will literally see a girl and associate the whole relationship based on how she looks. Then he goes over and talks to her and hopes that he can actually get with her and have a date and yada yada yada, the rest is history. But there's actually a lot more to attraction. For girls, we don't go over to a guy unless we have observed them from afar. Yeah, they might be attractive, but we need to know more. We need to work out their behavior, are they confident? Are they arrogant? Are they rude? Do they show signs that they are going to be a player or any warning signs that we're not going to feel comfortable in the relationship? And most importantly, we are scanning people for boyfriend material. So if you have in your mindset that you can qualify girls before you talk to them, that way you won't feel the urge and the pressure to talk to every single attractive girl that you see. You have the confidence and the power to say, I'm only going to talk to someone that I know is going to tick my boxes. She has to be the type of person that I would love to spend my time with. Just because you see a hot girl doesn't mean you have to approach her. And if you feel she does not have good girlfriend vibes, then you haven't got to go over and talk to her. Pretend you are talking to one of your friends. This is probably the best advice I can give you, and that is don't place a girl so high up on a pedestal that you feel that she is not your friend. Remember, a relationship is you chatting to someone that you can have a great time with. So imagine you are talking to another girl, you are talking to a female colleague, you're still cracking jokes and having a laugh, talking about cringy things that you did and future plans. Because remember, a woman is only going to want to have a date with you if she feels that you are compatible. She needs to know that you guys can have a good base relationship beforehand. So don't go over talking about chat up lines. Actually go over and just have a great conversation like you would with a friend. And this is going to get you more dates, I promise. If it's going to help, think of a couple of things to talk about. If you end up getting so nervous that you lose your train of thought, then try and have something prepared for when you do approach a girl. You could talk about something which makes her laugh, for example, a very embarrassing situation that you were recently in, or it could be something popular that's going on in the world. Or the best thing is to try to find something in common. For example, if she's reading a book on the tube and you know that author, you can have a great conversation about it. Exhale slowly to release the nerves. This is your quick hack guide to getting yourself back in the present state of mind and feeling less anxious, and it's simple and easy. All you have to do is exhale slowly, and the more times you do this, the easier and the sooner you are going to start feeling relaxed in your body. This is your body's natural stress relief, so utilize it before you walk over to her getting to the end of the video that really means a lot and something that you can do to really make my day is to subscribe to the membership on our channel the link in the description bar below will tell you more about what that entails but specifically you get your name up on our super fan board right here these are some amazing people that support the channel every single month if you appreciate the amount of content that we are pumping out on a weekly basis then this is a great way to say thank you i really hope you have an amazing day see you in the next video video.